We're here to talk through the snake pit puzzle by Jin Huan called 234 with a pretty obvious digit theme throughout the grid. In each of these corners, we have some single options that go out. So this two only can come down. This three has to take at least one cell coming down. And in this other corner, this three has to come up and this four has to come up. That gives us our first phenomeno like collision. This four can't come to the left because it would join to another four group. So it comes up like this. But one thing that's new for Snake Pit is uh, maybe science going to arise here across these three groups. What we can't have in a grid like this is a one unit hidden phenomeno, and that's a divergence from phenomeno logic. And so if this three came over to the right, now there's no place for a four when near a four here or a three near a three here, so we'd leave behind one cell. So we know that there's a tension, which means we can't come to the right from this group, so we'd come to the left. That means this three comes over like so. It means we finish this too, and we now have a snake coming out here that's at least four long, so it's got to start from the cell and come all the way to here. Another look ahead step is going to help us in this upper right side. So if this three came up and formed an edge here, we again have to make a cell, and now we hit a circle with a two unit snake, and that's near another two unit snake. That would cause an issue. So look ahead says instead this three comes to the left, that moves this two over to the left right away. This four can't come to the circle because it would end with just three cells then. So instead it has to come down and around. And doing that, we see that we make a five unit and three unit uh, snakes to finish the left side. On the right side, we have this group coming up that has to be at least two and it can't extend to be three because of the digits around it. And now we've got nine cells left, which could be four plus five or four plus two plus three. This group in the corner, which this four can't reach. Notice the last cell of this four is gonna be this cell or this cell. This has to be a two or a three. So knowing that we have to reach into this corner and knowing that this cell can't be part of a two or a three, this must be part of the four. We get this bending down, putting that in. We get a group here. Uh, we get that this extends over to make a three. And with that three, two split in the upper right, basically avoiding these twos, we finish this puzzle. So a, a good Monday start to the week. We'll have a lot more snake pits coming. Again, thinking about the uh, no one hidden phenomeno. Uh, step that is kind of like uh, a unique thing for snake pit that all regions are two or larger was a key constraint here and it'll be a key constraint through the rest of this week as you'll want to look ahead and see where are you leaving enough space to be able to put snakes and not leaving enough space is a common logical deduction you can exclude options by so thanks for watching this video we'll see you again soon